Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Jill Poo 3 and today I'm going to show you how to use Final Cut Pro. Uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding a picture in a picture, uh, which is a really cool effect. It's pretty easy to do. Uh, with this, if you'd like, you can also do the uh, side by side videos. Um, let's learn together today. All right. So I went ahead and shot some video already. Um, we need to be using Final Cut Pro. This is 10.2.2, the newest version. Um, what I'm going to do, of course, open up my new, um, newly shot videos. It's good stuff, right? <laughs> I'm going to go to Import Media. And this is going to be a step-by-step -step to, uh, to ensure you know how to do it yourself. That's the point, right? Uh, whenever you have something plugged in, it always slows it down, so let's get rid of that. We're going to go to Dave's Mac. Uh, let's find the video itself. Create it today. Hold down shift, we can select more than two. Those two are the ones. We're going to import them. All right. Uh, whenever, first things first, uh, whenever you want to do a picture in picture, you always want to have two cameras, obviously, right? Uh, you want to have very similar settings as far as 1080, you want to have both have to be 1080 or both have 4K. Uh, if not, this is going to cause a lot of problems in Final Cut Pro because it has to pick one or the other. Uh, it can't kind of have both. Um, I just did 1080 on both of these. And they're both 30 frames per second. So because of that, it's going to make the whole process a lot easier. Uh, let me go ahead and bring this into the project. Um, okay. One thing that is very important you want to do is um, if you have several cameras or several audio recorders or whatever you have, whenever you're recording, you want to bring it all in Final Cut Pro, you have to line it up. And to make this very easy to do, uh, the symbol for Final Cut Pro, that little, that little board right there, using camera, you know, using movies, a little clap, uh, that is very important. That is um, to create transients. Transients are spikes in the audio, uh, simply put. And if you line those up, the entire video is going to be in sync. Uh, otherwise, it's going to be super impossible to line it up. It's going to be very hard, not impossible, sorry. Uh, so what I did is I have, I did two clap, and I know you look super stupid, like turning all the cameras on and then doing it, but I promise you that's going to make everything a lot easier to do. Um, I turned both cameras on, and before I started filming, I did I did two claps. Uh, this is what I did today. You can do one if you want. You can do three if you'd like. Uh, whatever you want is fine. And let me zoom in a little bit. So you can see I have on the top track, my two claps are right here. And right here, so that's how we line it up. Um, I can go ahead and hit B. B is for blade. That will cut the clip in anywhere you like. If you go to A, switch back to your arrow. So I can go ahead and delete that, delete that. Whoops, Command Z undoes that. Um, let's do this. Position, you can position it anywhere you like, kind of like off the grid. So if we do that, we can get rid of this. Uh, you might want to zoom in to kind of get a better better view of it. And you can see how the top one's a little bit further ahead. And um, that's the one thing I don't like about Funnel Cut. That's how it does that. Once you get it lined up, it doesn't really matter which one you do. As long as they're kind of lined up the same, because everything before that is unusable audio and video anyway. So we can just cut again here and here. And now that it's lined up properly, we can delete this and this. And this. Okay? 
Now the audio is lined up. Uh, you might want to use one or the other, depending on what you're doing. Uh, but for example, I want to have this one on top and this one in the corner. So all I have to do is uh, select the track. And don't forget the Final Cut Pro is clip based, meaning whatever edits you do to one clip will take effect to the entire clip. If you have several clips on one track, uh, it will only do the one that's selected. Let me elaborate real quick. Say I have this first track has three clips. If I select this one, whoops, I hit A. If I select this one and do some edits to that, it will only take effect to this one clip, not all three. It kind of sucks. Um, but if ever that's a problem, you can shift select all of them, right click and go to new compound clip, and that will turn all the clips into one clip. And then whatever you do, and then whatever you do will affect the entire clip again, okay? So what we wanna do, <laughs> let's go right here, this little thing, because we have this track selected. And I do want you to understand the difference between cropping and transforming. Uh, cropping is gonna be if we get rid of some of the background and have only like the middle part show, basically. Uh, it's a way of getting rid of some of the background and telling it what you want it to show. Uh, transforming is taking the entire video and resizing it, okay? So that's what we're gonna do. Uh, on purpose, on this video, I have some background that I want to get rid of. So I am going to crop it first. And we are all familiar with these. So basically, let's just say I want that much of my video to show in the corner. Uh, and I'm happy with that. That's good. I'm going to hit done. Now it's going to apply that to the entire video right here. <laughs> there I am. <laughs> uh, this this computer is a Mac Pro and it does have a 3 gig video card, which is awesome. That's pretty much all you need these days, except for the processor is a little bit slow compared to my other one. Um, but nevertheless, it's a good editing machine. All right. So as it's finishing up this, uh, what we can do is we can go ahead and transform the cropped video right here. Let's go ahead and transform that. And I want to shrink it. I want to keep it the aspect. Oops. Get the aspect ratio the same. I want to shrink it. Uh, that looks pretty good. We'll stick it in the corner over here. All right, uh, say I'm happy with that, I'll hit done. And then we'll go ahead and re-render everything in the background, as this right here is. And once that happens, we can go ahead and try the video. We can take it from the top, see if we're happy with it. I have no idea where the names came from. I just, I didn't even mean to do that. I just kind of just messing around. Um, okay. Pretty easy, right? Pretty easy. Um, of course, if you wanted to do a split screen, you could. You could just hit um, crop or transform and do like half, half a screen. That's the same thing. If you wanted to add several cameras, that would be very easy to do also. Uh, as long as you remember before you film to do the clapping, um, that will, I know it sounds super stupid, but it will definitely help you align everything all together uh, and set up everything to where you can align it and edit the video. Um, now say for just for fun of it, say halfway through the video, I wanted to move 
me to the top or a different corner or whatever. Uh, that's very easy to do. Remember I was saying that whatever you do is clip based. If I split the clip for the second half, all I have to do is go to transform and move it up or somewhere else. Say I want this corner. Say I want this corner for the second half. Um, all right, there we go. If I want to go a little smaller, I could. And as long as you hit done, it will render. Pretty easy. Like I said, if you have several cameras, if you have several cameras, um, the main thing to do is align everything and then start moving stuff around. And you can have as many cameras as you want on the screen. That's pretty basic, but uh, hopefully that will help you out. Hopefully you can uh, start applying this to your own videos. Um, I think it's a really cool effect. It's very useful. And I say try it out. It's pretty easy. All right, thanks for watching. This is Jill Puts Read. We'll see you soon. Hey, this is Jill Blue 3 and I cannot wait to tell you about all my awesome new Barbie dolls. So here we go. On the very left we have Sophia, we have Carla, we have Maggie, we have Abigail, and Rosalina. <laughs> so there you go. Thanks for watching.